Morning guys, I hope you are well. This is a very quick video. Again, I've got loads of stuff coming up soon about DSM-7 and of course the new bits and bobs that Synology have rolled into it for the beta. But today I want to give you guys a little bit of a tip that I don't think a lot of you are aware of. And I was going to post this on Twitter or something, but I decided it would be a lot easier just to make a quick video for you guys. Now, if you do go to the Synology website right now, there's loads of banners. You can go to the main site, you can go to the drop downs, and ultimately it will tell you that the DSM um, 7 or Disk Station Manager 7 beta is now active for the public. But a number of you are wondering about, oh, do I have to run it virtual or do I need to have to, you know, create a brand new whole area of storage on my system? Am I going to have to do it in a number of ways? You don't have to. They have included the beta as a demo if you choose. So once you go to the Disk Station Manager website here, click the tab that says Try Online. They have rolled in the online beta that they did with 6.2 uh, going on so head here but do bear in mind that if you do click this do not be surprised if there is a slow waiting time currently at the moment it is being bombarded so do give it maybe a few days if you are getting unsuccessful to try to utilize the beta on here but it does give you access i've tried this a couple of times this morning while getting ready to do my own dsm content coming for you guys later on but i just thought i'd give this a go now I have got through once. It will let you know that some applications aren't going to be running some of the um, DS Cloud type applications, some of which are being phased out anyway. But just to let you guys know that if you are looking to try out DSM-7, you don't have to utilize the Synology NAS right now. You can do it directly from their own website. And again, you will have difficulty getting in, but you can always try again later on. And as you can see, it does give you the wait time on there. So if you've got a bit of patience or you've got a PC, you can knock around and leave set up in the background. There's a good chance you'll be able to get on this without having to go through the rigmarole of putting DSM-7 on your existing Synology NAS or as a virtual machine. But do stay tuned for a lot of DSM-7 follow-up content. And of course, when we talk a little bit more about the things we learned at the Synology 2020 launch videos, uh, that is already out there. It's like 20 minutes long. And if you can enjoy it, there is a lot of information in there. But I will see you guys very, very soon. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Click subscribe to learn more. And there'll be links in the description to all of the pages that we talked about today. I'll see you next time.